Howdy y'all, welcome back to Masters of Brick Jitsu. Today we are taking a look at set 71765 Ninja Ultra Combo Back. This set comes with 1,067 pieces, even though my box doesn't say so, and retails for $89.99 in the United States. Thank you so much to uh, Masters of Brick Jitsu and Land for allowing me to review this. Let's take a look at the graphic design on this box. I don't think this is something that the Core Wave gets praised for enough. These boxes are beautiful and capture what's inside the box so well. You've got this large imposing mech against this white background as well as all the small builds over here on the side that help build up the set. And I absolutely love it. You've got eight bags as well as a sticker sheet and an instruction booklet. So here's everything built up but not put together. I have not put it together yet so we're actually going to do that together here. Um, I'm really excited to see what this looks like together. Uh, just loving what I'm seeing so far. I myself am a big fan of extra pieces, so here's everything that you get with this. First up with these minifigures, we've got the Cobra Mechanic. Absolutely adore this coloring. The gunmetal gray and the orange is just such a, uh, a cool coloring with little like teal accent stuff on there. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, same goes for the Bow Destructor, but in the opposite. Loving these shoulder uh, armor as well. Just really cool looking snakes in my in my opinion we got to take a look at cole absolutely love that they're doubling down on the orange and black for cole um standard movie face we've gotten for too long now <laughs> but that's another story um we also have zane with um this uh this light blue and the white uh pretty standard coloring for zane but it works really well here we have the flame orangish yellow for kai as well as the red um really good color combination in my opinion um Nothing, nothing too much to say there. And then we have Jay with this uh, spring yellowish color. I think it's an absolutely brilliant matchup with the, with the blue of Jay's normal design. And here is the bad guy vehicle. I think the biggest win for this is the, the piece usage for here. We've got the new core chest plate as well as those new core limbs, um, which I'm absolutely here for having more of those. But overall, I don't really think this build is necessary. Um, add in a, you know, a couple exclusive characters, something like that, and call it a day, but I just don't know if this is necessary. <laughs> that piece is gone forever, but what are you going to do, you know? Here is Kai's mech, the core of the core set, the one that keeps them all together. Uh, this build is very compact, very dense with pieces. Um, but it also has to be for its you know, purpose in this set. I do like this new uh, ratcheted joint piece over here that's used for the hips. Um, very necessary in keeping it all together. Here's the cockpit. We've got quite a bit of space for Kai in there, but sadly none for his weapons. Taking a little bit closer look uh, at this mech, we do have this uh, Gundam face. I don't know what it's from, but if you do, comment down below. We also have these hands that leave a lot to be desired. Uh, not really a whole lot there. Nothing really hold it in. Uh, these elbows, I also think, just kind of look a little puny for a big mech. Um, feet look decently wide. Legs are very solidly built, in uh, my opinion, and again, they have to be. Um, but overall, just a, a, a really nice mech. Nice that the back is covered decently as well. And here is Zane's ice tank. Um, there's not really a whole lot to say about this. It's a very kind of standard tankish uh, sort of vibe. These treads actually work incredibly well. A whole lot better than I thought it did. Um, I think I actually took one out of the link, uh, the link to kind of help strengthen the, the, the friction, if you will, a little bit. Here's the seventh minifigure I forgot to mention earlier. Um, this is uh, kind of a new iteration of Woo's, um, the Woo bot that we got in last year's Hydro Mech, or sorry, Hydro Bounty. Um, I'll flick those missiles, but I know I'll never find it again. We do have plenty of space for Zane in here. Let me go ahead and grab him and put him in here real quick. It is just fit in there, <laughs> nice and snug, I guess. Um, but yeah, not a whole lot to say other than the fact that I really don't like that you can kind of see the connection pieces um, back here in the back. Um, kind of just looks a little bit icky. Here is Cole's driller section portion of the vehicle. Um, this is one of the weirdest and weakest portions of the set. We do have those two new joint pieces and stuff that I showed you earlier, but I just, this portion of the set does not really do it for me. Um, we do have a little, quite a lot of sticker detailing as well. Uh, which is nice, but also just kind of uh, feels a little lackluster in my opinion. Last and certainly not least, we have Jay's Jet with the teamwork banners being sported up here at the top. Love that we have two of them um, as they are this wave's collectibles. Um, for as thin as this particular portion of the set is, it's actually very well built. Um, we do have the little head to the um, you know, whole mech kind of hidden right there. 
And uh, overall, I think it's uh, pretty good for what we're getting. We do have space for a J in there. Let's go ahead and plop him in there. And uh, there we go. There's the little J's jet. Now let's take a look at it all being put together. freaking man i think this thing really came together while i do have gripes with like some of the smaller portions overall i think color wise and design wise this really works when it's all pieced together um it's got a very interesting side view you kind of have those that uh, you know kai leg butt cheeks sticking out of the back but like they're just thrusters you know um those pieces i thought were wrong and I actually checked the instructions to make that they were right but um, even with the back looking the way it does, uh, there are some pieces and holes that I wish were filled, but it doesn't look too bad. In comparison to some of the other mechs that we've gotten in the past, this this thing looms large, over a foot tall, um, compared to uh, you know Zane's Titan mech as well as the 2012 um, Samurai X mech. It's just it's massive. Overall, for ninety dollars, I definitely think we're getting what we paid for. Um, you have some i do have some little issues like the holes kind of um being you know visible from there um as well as just kind of the way that the top head fits on i wish it like kind of pushed forward a little more but you know it, it doesn't and those are modifications that i can make on my own um but i think for you know a, a set this size i think it's just going to stay um kind of in one place and just kind of displayed uh kind of as you see it now on my desk at work um I think one of my biggest gripes is the, the the drill hands. I wish you could take those off and replace them with like actual hands, whether it be like uh, another sword or something like that for the Big Mac. But you know, I'm not gonna complain too much about it. Um, just kind of a small thing that I could do if I wanted to. You also have these holes down here at the bottom, um, which I'm not a big fan of, kind of like at the top of the top arms. But you know, I really can't I really can't complain too much. I think overall for ninety dollars, this this works. Um, if you you know want one set with all four of the the core you know primary ninja. Um, then this is the set to get uh, $90. I don't think he's asking too much. If you can find it on sale later on, absolutely do that. Um, but yeah, I think that's all for me. Please go ahead and like and subscribe uh, and uh, follow for some more awesome content coming your way. And we'll see you guys next time.